what is up everybody you are watching that one guy jr and i am that one guy jr so today i kind of just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about why i've been gone again um but this is a little bit more serious uh, of a reason it's because i found out a few weeks ago that my uncle he had um in stage psoriasis if you don't know what that is it's basically where your organs start shutting down um you it i don't think there was a way for them to be able to stop it um they gave him several warnings and to slow down on certain things and he didn't listen so it kind of just got even worse and um so they let me know that that he wasn't going to be lasting very long that he was probably not going to even be lasting for the the remaining week which was very hard for me because he was like my favorite uncle. Um, he was always one that would always make people laugh. He was always funny, picking on me, things like that. So I have a whole lot of great memories with him. And I just kind of it started becoming like a really big thing where I was taking it kind of personally because I didn't feel like it was... Uh, like I spent enough time with him that I didn't, you know, do enough, make enough memories, things like that. Like I just started blaming myself for all sorts of things. And um, and then I found out that my grandma, one of my grandmas from, um, is has a, Alzheimer's. And that it was, and I had known this for a while, like it had just started. It was probably months before I'd like barely even started, I think. Um... I think that's when it started. It might have started a little bit early, um, a little bit earlier, but um, or later. But I had found out that her Alzheimer's was getting really bad, and within two weeks of them telling me that, um, I was let know that she had passed away, and that was a week and a, a week and a half ago or something, about a week ago. About a week ago. About a week ago. Yeah, it was about a week ago. Uh, on Friday. On the 6th, I believe. And, um... So that was kind of hard for me. Me and her weren't very close, but there was still... I still kind of blame myself still for not making enough memories and spending enough time. And, you know, there was so much more that I would have wanted to do. Things like that. So that was hard on me. And then two days later, um, I believe... Or the, day, the next day, I believe it was... Um, next two days or so I believe it was my uncle that they called me and told me that he wasn't going to be lasting by the end of the day and so I just kind of was breaking down a lot it was a whole lot and then they let me know within about like probably 10 minutes later that he had passed away so that hit me really 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 hard it was something that I didn't expect because it was like really sudden I kind of I knew that he was going to be passing away soon but it was like it was really sudden and I'm here in Colorado and they live in Texas in Corpus Christi so it's like I didn't have a way for me to be able to get there and so it was really hard for me because I wasn't there you know I didn't I, w I didn't think I was going to be able to be there things like that and it turns out my family ended up helping me get enough money to be able to come and travel about by my my by my car and um so we ended up going and we went to the funeral and, st and such like that it lasted for a whole week we went there for the rosary for the viewing for the funeral everything and that was his previous week and that was extremely hard for me that i couldn't i didn't want to you know, like you know post anything on Twitter or anything like that or let you guys know anything yet because it was, you know, it was kind of just a really hard time in my life and it uh, it opened my eyes a little bit because I was, you know, it was like my first, uh, one of my first family deaths that I was close to, so it was really hard and, and it was an experience. I learned from it, you know, I learned how to, you know, cope with it next time when something happens like that. Uh, hopefully it's not for a long time, but it was just really hard for me and that's why I didn't want to come in, you know, try to make any videos because it wasn't going to be, it wasn't going to be fun for me anymore, right, right at that point in time. It was going to be more of me just kind of trying to put on a fake face and I don't want to be fake with you guys, I want to be real, so, I want to be real, yo. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, so I just want to let you guys know this and the videos hopefully will be going and starting back up like normally. Um, but I do want to let you know that be excited because I'm going to start vlogging. I meant to vlog the trip to Corpus Christi just like the sightseeing and stuff like that that we did a little bit of. Um, but it was mainly focused on the family so I didn't want to kind of you know put the camera in everybody's face and everything like that. So um, 
But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Be sure to like button, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Uh, let me know if you want me to make more uh, just me talking videos such like this. Uh, I do want to apologize for not being here for like the past three weeks or so, maybe longer. I can't even remember since this all started. But I am going to start back up. And I hope you guys can understand why and support me uh, through this time. And I hope you guys will tune in next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.